Hello, today's video will be showing you how to download the iLink Pro desktop software for your Office Lynx voicemail system. Uh, you will start by uh, downloading the software from the voicemail server. You do that by navigating to the voicemail server through your web browser. On my PC, you will see that I use Google Chrome for my uh, web browser. So once you open up your web browser, you then need the address of your voicemail server. This is either going to be an IP address or um, it could be a domain name. In my case, it is a domain name. This address could be provided to you by either your network administrator or American Telecom. Once we get to the home page of the voicemail server, we are going to choose the software downloads category. From the software downloads category, we want the iLink Pro desktop category. And as soon as you click on that, it is going to bring up the save as dialog box and you are going to choose the location on your computer where you want to save the software at. Uh, mine defaults to the downloads, so I will just stick with the download folder. You will notice that the file name is UC Client Manager and not iLink. UC Client Manager is the older name uh, of the iLink Pro software, uh, but uh, rest assured you are downloading the iLink Pro software. So choose your location and then go ahead and click Save. Once the application has downloaded to your computer, you can go to that location, or if you're using something like Chrome, I can click it right here and go ahead and run the installation. Uh, this is already installed on my computer, so I will not be running the installation. I will go to the next step here of what you will see. You will go to the Start button, then Programs, and you are looking for the iLink Pro folder. Click on the iLink Pro folder and you will see the iLink Pro application. Go ahead and click on that. Mine will automatically log in since this is already running on my computer. Yours will not, so I will log out so you can see uh, what yours is going to look like here. So I log out. The very first thing I want to do here is click on more options. That way we can see both categories that we're going to need to fill out. Uh, under connection settings, I always have it set to automatic with alternative. The server is going to be that same address that you typed into your web browser. Once again, this is, could either be a domain or IP address. In my case, it is a domain. Uh, next will be the port number. I believe this number is defaulted in there in a brand new installation, and it is always going to be 13777. Down below under authentication, you want this to be set to manual sign-in, and you will then enter your username and password. Once again, this could be either provided to you by your network administrator or by American Telecom. In the older builds, uh, we used to use the person's extension slash mailbox number as the username and their voicemail passcode as the password. That has now changed to an actual username, and a password is now an alphanumeric password. Once you've entered those credentials, go ahead and click Save Password and select Login. You are now logged into the iLink Pro desktop software. Uh, in the following videos, we will discuss some of the features and exactly what we are looking at in here. Thank you, and that is the end of this video.